Good morning, Scotty. It's a lovely frosty morning. King Martin, it is indeed a lovely frosty morning. You're quite right. Now, what's going on in the world? Would you like to discuss it? We've also got the phones. So, I mean, we are sorted on here. Guys, every single one of you, rather than waste your time watching telly or listening to radio or whatever, come and join Scotty McClue live on the World's Top Talk Show because we've got the whole world in our hands here. Uh, that's the winter chill, says McAnulty. Well, it is. We are talking mid-October. Yes, we're just about to hit exactly mid-October. We're at the 15th. And um, then we've got All Hallows Evening, haven't we? Is that the 31st? I try to avoid the news this past week, very dire. Katrina, quite right. I would say to people, uh, do try and avoid the news because it's just going to get more and more negative. There's death and destruction on it, and you haven't done it. So it shouldn't actually be brought into your lives to bring you down. Do you see what I'm saying? So I would stick with McClue. There we are. I mean, there's thousands being killed. Do you think Hamas should be wiped out? Well, we need to find out what the problems are. As my father used to say, there's been no peace in that land for 2,000 years. So the, the warring uh, far predates Hamas or any other organization outside you. Do you remember Yasser Arafat? There we are. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Send the Mossad in. Well, you could say that. Send in the Mossad. Send in the CIA. Send in British intelligence. Send in the FBI. But what are they going to do to sort it out? We need a plan. And there needs to be some world organization, because obviously the ones we've got um, have no teeth. There needs to be some organization that's widely respected that can say to Israel and say to Palestine, stop, stop right now. Otherwise, you realize there will be no Israel. There will be no Palestine. So stop right now. And let's get talking. Capisho? You know, and that's what going. Brian, it's fine shouting free Palestine and free Israel and free every day, but we need to actually think big about this because obviously, tiny picture doesn't work. Them and us doesn't work. So we need to bring people together, stop the killing.